Hi, Captain Ron with the GPS Star. We usually do our videos out on the water, but today we're on land doing some boat work, so we thought this would be a good time to address one of the most mysterious subjects in marine electronics, transducers. One of the most common categories of transducers for larger fishing boats, say 28 feet and up, is what's called a bronze through-haul transducer. And we've got two examples of those here from Airmar. This is a 600 watt B744. This is a one kilowatt B258. Now these transducers offer excellent performance, but because this entire unit is below the hull, that gives you a lot of transducer phase for a powerful signal. However, it needs to be used with what's called a high speed fairing block, which is mounted around the transducer to channel water. This makes sure that it also gets clean water across the transducer face. It also has a lot to do with uh, not having this unit interfere with the running performance of your boat. Popular examples of through hull transducers from Airmar include the B744V, B260, and SS260, a version where the transducer housing is made from stainless steel. Options range from 600 watt to 1 and 2 kilowatt units, ideal for tournament sport fishing. Through hulls are generally not for boats stored on trailers, although exceptions can be made with careful mounting. Plastic, bronze, and stainless models are offered to accommodate different hull styles. A properly positioned and installed through hull transducer puts maximum energy on fish and bottom targets, providing excellent performance for a wide range of sounders and MFDs. Select a location away from hull features that will affect clean water flow or block the signal. For boats that will be launched from trailers or hoists, take note of areas to avoid. It's always a good idea to consult manufacturer guidelines on where best to position your through hull on different types of fishing boats. Installation requires drilling holes through the hull. If you have concerns, consult a qualified marine electronics installer. Self-installation can be done if you follow manufacturer instructions carefully, including properly sealing both the transducer and fairing block. A properly installed through hull and fairing block will ensure clean water across the transducer face and a beam that is positioned vertically to the bottom. If the beam is not vertical, return energy will be lost and fish finder performance will be compromised. Through hauls like these are a high performance option for an array of larger coastal and offshore fishing boats. The ability to effectively target coastal structure and wrecks will help you catch a wide variety of inshore game fish. And optimizing sounder performance will help offshore anglers pinpoint the schools of bait and pelagic game fish of all kinds for exciting blue water action. To learn more about through hull transducer options for your boat, and Echo Sounder, speak with the experts at the GPS store or visit our website.